It's a one-of-a-kind COVID-19 study pairing scientists, eager fans, and live music. The purpose is to study the spread of the virus, though. News Nation's Felicia Bolton joins us now from the newsroom with a look at how it works. Hey, Felicia. Hey, Aaron. After months of social distancing in Barcelona, scientists gathered more than a thousand people yesterday. However, only half of them would be treated to a free concert. 500 of those volunteers tested negative for COVID-19 with an antigen test. They were randomly selected to enjoy the event. They were required to wear face masks and use hand sanitizer, but not required to socially distance on the concert floor. The goal is to evaluate the effectiveness of same-day screening in order to safely hold large events. This comes as Spain still deals with restrictions because of the pandemic. More than 25,000 concerts and shows have been canceled. That translates to nearly $145 million in lost revenue for the industry. Some venues in Barcelona have bailed out or been allowed rather uh, to reopen, but only at 50% capacity or a maximum of 500 people. More than 47,000 deaths from COVID-19 have been reported in Spain since the start of the pandemic. The other 500 people who didn't get selected for yesterday's study, they were sent home forming a control group. Scientists say antigen tests are not as accurate as other types of tests, but they do produce results in 15 minutes as compared to several hours or even days later. It could be weeks before any results are released. People who participated in the study say it was more than just a free concert. It was a way to help their nation and the world.